Thank you, everyone. Class is dismissed. Hmm? Ah, yes, your regular teacher should be returning within the next few days. She's still feeling a little under the weather, but I did receive an update that she's doing fantastic. <laughs> no worries. She'll be back before you know it. Hmm? Ah, was there something you wanted to ask me? You wanted to talk to me alone. <laughs> I see. <sighs> I guess this conversation was something I couldn't really avoid. Of course I remember you. <sighs> you act like you're a forgettable person. When you know you're the exact opposite. <sighs> Fine, let's talk. Just wait for the other students to leave the class. You can wait, can't you? <laughs> so, you wanted to talk to me? <laughs> I had a feeling this conversation was going to be about us. Listen, I know we broke up, but I hope you understand that we mutually agreed that our breakup was because we wanted to focus on our own careers. That doesn't mean I, I don't miss you or anything. I missed your company. I missed who you were to me and what we were together. But I just wasn't sure on what my future was going to be like, and I wanted to spend every ounce of my time to focus on my future. Because though you are very important to me and will always be very important to me, I come first. My future comes first. And the same mindset should be applied to you. I, I truly loved what we had going. And I was really happy with you. But I don't want to be this little obstacle for you. Though I would love to possibly get back with you, there's always a chance that we'll just never be able to. And I can assure you it's nothing personal or, you know, this decision that I've made is not a reflection of how I see you. It's just... When I was with you, all of my time and energy was put into you. And that's not a bad thing. I wanted to do that. I wanted to give you good things. I wanted to be there for you as a girlfriend. But then... Growing up set in. Then I realized I had to do many things in order to just ensure my future. To make sure that I had something to do. And, you know, a career path. And I just knew the moment I started getting things rolling, I couldn't focus on both at the same time. And I felt horrible. I wanted to give you everything that you deserved. Attention, love, support. But I couldn't since I was so busy. And that left a huge impact on me. And I never really said anything about this. It's because I didn't want to burden you with that. You're just as sweet as ever. I understand you're going to say that, but that's how I genuinely felt. I felt so much guilt for not being able to be there for you, like how I used to. So I had to make a decision for myself. And, you know, I appreciate more than anything that you were really understanding. <sighs> but here I am, spilling my heart out to you. When I saw you in the classroom, I just felt, I felt so happy to see you again. But I also felt so sad that we're not together at the moment. I truly miss everything that we had together. But I just, I just want you to know there is a reason for everything. And I have my reasonings. It's just, I don't know how to explain them in a sense where, you would understand. 
because I can only imagine how crazy I look right now. Because you truly are the most patient person I know. You would have understood if I was too busy to be there for you. You would have been happy that I was working on my career path. So I can only imagine that you're upset with me that I decided to end things. I hope you understand that that was something that I truly regret some days. Because there are times where I'm so stressed out from working, I just... I desperately just need a hug from you. I miss your warmth. I miss how your arms held me. I just miss you. So I just want to say this. I don't really know what you have to say to me, and if you're angry at me, I, I understand, but please, just know that I've always loved you, and I still do. And I had my reasons. You what? You want to give me a hug? Do you mind? <sighs> Ugh, this is long overdue, do you understand? I missed how you smell, too. I was devastated when I realized I didn't know how you smelled anymore. It's like I lost something within myself. <laughs> I guess there's a few things that you deserve to know. The truth. And I just want you to know everything I've said so far was nothing but the truth, but this is the full reason why I've decided to end things that day. Looking back on it, it was it was a dumb reason. Or so I thought. But when I was with you, I was I was in a point in life where I wasn't able to provide you things that you loved because I just had nothing. But despite everything, you still loved me. You still wanted to be with me. But it killed me on the inside that I wasn't able to give you things and spoil you because you genuinely deserve the world. You're one of those genuine good people out there. And people like you deserve so much good, but I wasn't able to provide that. And I wanted to give you so many things. I wanted to buy you things that you liked and treat you out to dinner and... All that stuff, and I wasn't able to because I had, I didn't have anything. So I told myself, I'm going to focus and I'm going to get myself something that can provide for the both of us as a couple. I wanted to support the both of us and our future together. Because one day I want to live with you. I want to wake up with you by my side and... You know, maybe have a few pets and decorate our little house together. But I wasn't able to do that when I was with you. So I had to step away and just work as hard as I could. <laughs> Looking back at it, I really needed you by my side. Especially those days where I was struggling so much just to get something done I wish, I wish I never left you. <sighs> it brings me a lot of relief that you understand where I'm coming from, but still, I, I left you when I needed you most. And I didn't realize what I lost until you were gone. But I told myself, when I'm done with all of this, I'm going to be able to get them everything they've ever wanted. I worked everywhere. <laughs> Even being a substitute teacher. This might explain a few things, but there was a listing open and I was like, you know what? I know this topic very well, so I'm going to go in and teach for a few days and, you know, get paid. This is not what I'm 
working on, by the way. It's just like a side thing. I had this weekend off, though. So I thought it was for the best. Well, what a coincidence. The one class I sub for is the one that has you in it. And I'm really thankful because I was finally able to see you again. And I could just tell by the way you were looking at me that you were just dying to tell me something. And in all honesty, so was I. I just... I just felt so bad. I didn't know what to say. But now... Here I am explaining everything. <laughs> what a... What a story, am I right? But I just, I just want to ask, are you angry with me? You're not? Truly? Oh, gosh, that's... Oh, sorry, I, I needed that after, after everything. I'm just really happy that you're not angry with me. But that's such a, such a you thing to do. I shouldn't have thought otherwise. I was just scared to confront you again, especially after what I put you through. But that's the past for now. I do want to ask you, is it alright if we start off from where we left off? 